Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to talk about the FG Wilson DCP 10 user manual explanation and complete in this video. Before the starting the video, I small request to all newcomers. If you are first time on my channel, please make sure to subscribe my channel and hit the bell notification to getting more latest update videos. So let's get started. As you can see here, this is our DCP 10 model. Uh, this is the model number one. Also, in the market model, DCP 20 is different type of th this version. As you can see, first of all, we are going to talk about the, some buttons and their function. As you can see, the red button is used for the engine stop. Okay, and also the another buttons auto as you can see this button this is used for to operate the generator in auto mode or in ATS mode okay by pressing this key the small indication light turning on and then generator run in a automatic mode okay after that as you can see the hand mode that means the generator you can use in a manual mode okay and also the green eye button this button to press to start the generator manually okay and instantly start your generator okay and uh, this one is our display and also as you can see the warning lights alarm mute and also the parameters uh, checking buttons okay in one side we have a grid and one side we have a generator okay so let's move to explain the main wiring as you can see the display is look like this as you can see all the warning battery indications alarm mute emergency stop or frequency under frequency all will be show here in a left side display portion okay so let's move to explain the wiring diagram of the TCP 10 as you can see this is the front view and also this is the back view okay and this is the sizes length width and complete dia okay as you can see the pin number one two three this is the gen volt and also four the four is the generator neutral input and l1 l2 l3 also in l1 in l2 in l3 three pins and three input of your generator three phases and also four is neutral okay five and six is not used and also as you can see the pin seven pin eight pin nine and pin ten this is used for the current transformer input ct1 and ct2 and ct3 and also the RCT commons in a pin 10 input okay 11 is oil pressure input 12 is coolant pressure input and 13 is a remote start okay this is the remote start signal okay and also pin 14 is D input and pin 15 is D and 5 okay we will explain this pins further in a further in a videos okay and also the pin 16 is a charging alternator 17 18 is output 6 output 5 okay and 19 and 20 is output 5 volt and pin 20 is a for crank relay and pin 22 is a fuel relay and 23 and 24 is a power supply after this controller okay let's go to explain each pins and rating voltages as you can see here three phases as you can see the signal is maximum 300 volt AC okay gen V1 and input okay three phases and one neutral and also pin 5 and 6 is not used pin 7 8 9 and 10 
for the CT ok 11 low oil pressure 12 heating temperature 3 configure digital input this is configurable ok you can configure with the soft through the software for your specific requirement ok as you can see here that's one the pin 14 and 15 ok pin 14 low level is active and pin 15 is the configurable digital input signal 3 and signal 2 this is the block diagram of the complete controller ok as you can see pin 7 8 and 9 this is the coming from the current transformer ok and 1 2 3 pin 4 is coming from the three phases is one neutral ok and also as you can see we have GCR generator circuit where uh, contractors the main okay and also 24 and 23 as you can see is 24 is a battery battery voltage 24 pass 12 volt or 24 volt okay 23 is a charging alter connected with the charging alternator and also grounded okay no, no sorry this is the char starter motor as, as you can see 23 screwing relay and then going to the starter motor okay oh my god next uh, pin 16 is going to charging alternator WL warning and pin 22 and 21 for the fuel relay for the crank relay and also pin 20 is a 5 volt, 20, uh, 5 volt output and pin 19 18 this is the relay 3 relay 5 and relay 6 output configurable relay and also as you can see here pin 11 12 13 this is the sensors and pin 14 and 15 this is the configurable inputs so i hope you understand to watch this complete video now let's move to check some uh, manual programming button okay as you can see scroll button enter into sub menu modify confirm modification scroll menu to the display okay stop rest value decrease if i push the button the stop rest button is used to increase and decrease the value okay also this is the this button as you can see the start button is increase the value button and the stop button decrease the value button when you when one time and enter in a pro programmable okay push the stop press button value decrease the push button the push button is used to manually stop the gen set okay we will explain already this buttons press and hold the auto button for two second the led above the button is illuminated the controller is running in auto mode okay each button you need to press for two seconds to convert the mode okay remote button this is the active display is timer activated during the period the remote start signal is inactive now let's move to check the remote control As you can see 
pin 13 pin 13 is configurable digital pin input low level is active 1 mm square wire pin 13 what will happen in pin 13 as you can see you can use the ground signal ground ground signal to the remote control okay once the ground signal is goes to nc to uh, you know to nc this will automatically start the generator okay So I hope for you to watch this complete video. If you have further any question, any problem, please write comment below comment section. I will give you the complete detail. Thanks for watching my video. See you all next time. Goodbye.